Oh boy. Picture this. Espa drops a new song and suddenly fans are pulling out their pitchforks. Lyrics that were probably meant to be catchy take a turn and next thing you know, tweets are hotter than a summer day in Seoul. Who would have thought that some mere words could cause a fandom civil war? That's one weaponized pen if I've ever seen one. Move over Shakespeare. These K-pop idols are ready to rumble. Now let's talk about social media. You'd think the world was on fire with how heated the discussions got. Fans trolling each other faster than I can say, concert ticket. One minute you're sipping your bubble tea, and the next you're knee deep in a Twitter war about whether Espa stole Blackpink's thunder. Spoiler alert, no one is getting a Nobel Peace Prize from this saga. And what's with the blame game, huh? People blaming their crush for what? Not singing the right lyrics? I mean, come on, shouldn't we be more focused on the real issues like, I don't know why my phone battery dies during a banger. Instead, we're here dissecting lyrics like they're a Shakespearean play. Spoiler, Espa didn't come to unplug your black hole of fandom. They just wanted to bop. When it comes to lyric interpretation, everyone's an expert. A true masterclass in overanalyzing from both sides. Fans diligently searching for hidden meanings. Are they Shakespeare aficionados or just bored? The wild theories popping up sound like plot twists from a Netflix original. Next, we'll find out Blackpink likes pineapple on pizza because Espa sang, Espa sang about sweet and feelings. I'm just saying, anything is possible in this fandom universe. Enter the lyric police. You know, those guardians of the K-pop galaxy who think they have the supreme authority on who stole what. Stop right there. You've misinterpreted the genius of this line. Oh, truly, we're blessed with the wisdom of the ages. Can't we just vibe to the music without checking it against a K-pop lore dictionary? Because if I have to pull out my K-pop lyrics for Dummies Guide, we've hit rock bottom. And let's be real here. Every fan feels like their group is the best. But do we really need to drive a wedge deeper between fans over lyrics? How about we all hold hands and do a little kumbaya around the campfire? I mean, the real magic lies in the fact that these groups are all putting out heat that makes us want to dance like no one's watching. Instead, we're here arguing like toddlers fighting over the last cookie in the jar. So let me pose a question to you. Are we going to let lyrical chaos rule our fandom lives, or should we all just chill and enjoy the music? Is there room for everyone's favorite girl groups in the same loving fandom universe? It's a tough call, right? Who knew liking K-pop came with such sharp edges? What's your take, lyrical warriors or music lovers? Like and subscribe, please.